Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the Ford pickup truck series that is being found at U.S. Walmarts. Uh, may have been found at some different stores in other countries, but in the U.S. you can find them at Walmart. Uh, eight cars in the set. And they all have unique front card art, generic back card art. The card art is pretty nice looking. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open all eight cars, just talk briefly about each one, and just show you the series. So this is number one of eight. This is the 65 Ford Ranchero. Uh, we'll go ahead and open that up. And here, we'll go ahead and zoom in on it here. Get a little better look at it. Ooh, focus. Okay, so here it is in gold. It is a plastic base, metal body. Um, this casting uh, debuted in 2011 for the main line. 2012, it got a treasure hunt release. Um, it's had quite a few, I think some pop culture releases. And it's had four releases this year in 2018, uh, including this one. So it was in the black and gold series, 50th anniversary black and gold. It was in uh, pop culture Nestle series. And it was also a mystery model this year so far. So this is the fourth variation of this casting to collect this year if you're in to the 65 Ford Ranchero. Um, I definitely think this one looks pretty nice. It is a nice looking truck. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I like those wheels on it. I think those wheels look good on this, this particular truck. Uh, the color gold is pretty nice. you got the chrome piece that goes through for the bumper and grill. So thus you have a chrome interior. But uh, looks pretty good. So there is number one. Uh, number two in the series. Here's a quick peek at the car art. And here's number two. So this is the 79 Ford truck. Go ahead and open that one up. Uh, this casting is kind of a neat one. Um, it actually debuted as a premium release in 1999 as the Sam Walton truck. Uh, difference being that it had, I think, a different interior piece, including a different back piece. So it didn't have the cap on the back. Um, it had like a toolbox inside of here and stuff like that. I don't have that one out to show you, so I can't show you it. Uh, but definitely a little different. Uh, this one, so it was in that 99 series, and then it was in the 2000 mainline in this configuration. Um, it's had various mainline releases. Uh, most recently, it was seen in the 2016 Camo series and the Rad Trucks series. Uh, nothing else for this year besides this release. Uh, but it's a nice looking truck. And it's pretty nice. I think the deco is uh, pretty good, like period accurate for it. Um, the back of the truck kind of looks goofy with the plastic being there and then like no windows. It, a lot of the times this truck, the back cap is tampoed. Um, so it doesn't look quite as plain as this. Um, honestly, I wish you could just take this thing off. But I don't think you can because I think it's actually part of the interior piece. I don't know for sure. Uh, but it probably is. The truck itself looks pretty good though. I think it would look better as a pickup though without the cap. And that's just my opinion. So there is that. The grill and bumper is all part of the base. So that's why it's chrome. And uh, there is number two. Uh, number three, this is the 41 Ford pickup and definitely an odd choice in my opinion to include in this series. So there it is. Uh, this one debuted in uh, the 2003 main line. Uh, the casting was also a 2004 five pack, 2007 20 car gift set for Walmart, and that is it. I believe that is it for this casting. So it's only been released three other times since its inception, which is to me probably pretty good. I did, I think this is probably the worst one in the series, um, just because it's a goofy looking tuned variation of the car. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, some others may like the tuned cars and think they look kind of cool. I I do not think that is very cool. So, but that's my opinion. So, plastic base, metal body, the chrome interior pieces, the engine, the pipes, and all that stuff. Um, orange paint job with purple, white, and black 
tampos. I just don't think this thing is that cool. So you guys might like it. I do not, but that's okay. And so there's that. And this one is definitely going to be the star of the series. This is the Ford Bronco 4x4. Um, now, I believe there was a kind of like a, there's an old school Ford Bronco that is a similar casting to this. This is not that old school casting. Uh, so I'm just kind of peeking around my room here because I know I've got one somewhere available. Yeah, it's quite a bit different, I think. But uh, this particular Ford Bronco series debuted in the 2013 Boulevard series. And then it was also in the 2014 Pop Culture and Looney Tunes series. Um, but the cool thing about this one is it is an all-metal uh, casting. So you get the metal base, you get the metal body. So it is a solid heavy casting. It's only been in premium releases before. Um, so this is kind of interesting because they did throw in the Mopar set. There was a casting that was premium that they that they kind of uh, mainlined it, but uh, maintained its metal base. And in this series, you get another one. So this would be definitely probably the one to pick up if you're only going to get a couple. Is this cool Ford Bronco? Especially if you're into customizing and stuff like that. I bet you a lot of uh, people that do custom trucks and stuff like that will definitely like this casting. Um, and enjoy it to make customs out of. So metal base, metal body. It's got the spare tire in the back, brush guard in the front. Of course, just side tampo detail because it is basically a mainline. Um, but this was only used uh, two other times to my knowledge. Let's take a look at the uh, copyright date. So the copyright date is 2012. So that jives with a 2013 Boulevard release. Uh, and that's going to be it. So just the the. That's it. So this is the third release of this casting. So go pick this one up if you do see it. Um, that is a cool one. That is my favorite in this series for sure. So Ford Bronco. All right. So and another Ford Bronco, the custom Ford Bronco. So here is the custom Ford Bronco. Here's a quick peek at that Carter. The Carter does look nice. I do admit. Um, this is an 08 mainline debut. It's had a bunch of mainline releases and five pack releases. Um, including a Jungle Rally 5-pack from this year. I am just not a fan of this tooling of the Ford Bronco. It just it doesn't do anything for me. Um, it's done up like a, uh, almost like a rally or whatever, off-road Ford Bronco, but it just doesn't, uh, doesn't really do it for me at all. Um, you got the plastic top here like roll bars and stuff and spare tire in the back uh some wheel arches there that stick out way further in the front than they do in the rear i just don't think it's that good looking and that's my opinion so you guys again you may think differently um but there's that one all right so that is that was number five so we got three more to go uh, this is kind of a cool one. This is the Sandblaster. There's a look at the Carter. Carter is very nice in this. Again. Okay, so this casting is kind of interesting. It's large, which is nice. Um, it, it's a Sandblaster, so it's got a fantasy casting name, but it is a Ford. So it's modeled after the uh, 2010 SVT Raptor. Um, so it's based on a real car. It's got a removable piece on the back. Which is kind of interesting. This like roll cage bit. Um, so the casting itself debuted uh, 2010 mainline. Had a bunch of mainline releases, including 2014. It was a Super Treasure Hunt. Um, this year it is also in the Hot Trucks five pack. So there is another variation of this casting to collect this year. Uh, should you choose to collect it, but. I think it looks okay. I'm not really digging the orange interior with the orange like brush guard thing on the front. That is kind of goofy to me. I kind of wish they would have went with a more standard color. Uh, but it looks all right. It's a big truck, big truck casting. I think it's the only example of this casting that I actually have. I think I used to have the Super and I think I sold it. So. There it is. 
And all right, so then we got number seven. This is the 29 Ford pickup. So another kind of odd choice here, the 29 Ford pickup. This one uh, debuted in 2009 for the Hot Wheels Classics series. So that was the series, if you're not familiar, was semi-premium. Um, all of the castings, I believe they all were metal on metal. This one is metal on plastic. Uh, but in that series had Spectre Flame paint, and they were came out in tons of different colors. So this was in that 09 Classic series. It was in also in the 2010 Hot Wheels Delivery series, which is also was a premium series. It had two variations in that. A few pop culture releases, which of course were also premium. And then the 2014 Cool Classics. So I think what's new about this one is this is the first time that this casting has been used uh, without a metal base. So it's got a plastic chrome base on that. And uh, yeah. So there it is. So the fenders are plastic. It's actually the fenders are part of the interior piece. There's also another piece that is the grill and steering wheel and stuff. And then of course the base piece and the body is metal. I guess it's all right looking. And if you're gonna do a Ford series, you gotta put an old, you know, a very, very old truck in the series. And uh, that's the one you get right there in this green color. So it looks okay. I'm not going to say it's a uh, great looking or my favorite or anything like that, but uh, it's in the series and there it is. All right. And then lastly, we get the Ford F-150. Um, so here it is. I always wonder how they sit around and pick which castings or toolings are going to be in these series. Out of the Ford F-150 castings that are available, this one, not a huge fan of. It's... A little goofy i think um this is the lifted version there was like a non-lifted version of this cast that was out but the lifted one debuted in 2006 mainline there's been a bunch of mainline releases it did get some pop culture releases and the pop culture releases have a different back piece on it they have a cab over the top um but it, did, it wasn't there. Uh, most notably, I think the last time it was used was the 2015 pop culture classic TV series, Batmobile, Batman series. Uh, so there was that. And then this year, it is also in the Target uh, throwback series. So it's also in there. And metal body, plastic base, of course. It's lifted. It's got a ton of cover. Um chrome interior because it's the same piece as the bumpers but there it is not a huge fan of this casting but it looks okay so as far as i'm concerned and a quick little recap here i could do without this one i could probably do without this one definitely do without that one definitely do without that one um this one actually looks really nice it's got kind of a premium look to it i think it looks really good uh this is kind of a cool one the sandblaster is kind of cool, and then the Bronco takes the cake. So I think 50% of them are pretty neat, and 50% of them aren't so neat, and that's my opinion. But this is definitely the coolest one, in my opinion. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, that's it for this video. Again, go find these at your Walmart. Thank you guys very much for watching, and you have a great day.